Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Today I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to replace an iPhone XS. Uh, this is iPhone XS, and as you can see, the I have a vertical line, um, also a cracked screen. So I'll be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to replace them. So first off, you want to go ahead and turn off the phone. There are two screws at the bottom, so go ahead and remove them. So you get a metal pry tool. Try not to stick too deep. All you want is right about this much. Okay, that's enough to cut the double-sided adhesive tape. The phone is actually a water-resistant phone, so they have a tape all around the corner, and you're just trying to use the pry tool and cut open the, uh, the tape. So do not stick all the way in. Uh, it's about this much is good enough. Okay, so you want to go all around the phone as you go, cutting the adhesive and you want to kind of pry up a little bit to um, get the phone open. Alright, so at this point, as you can see, the phone opens up. Um, and this is the adhesive tape I was talking about. Okay. So it opens up to your right. And we need to have the uh, Y screw driver and go ahead and open up one, two, three, four, five screws and remove the bracket after. So the screws are not the same. So make sure you're not mix match those screws. This is actually a Phillips screw. Okay, I'm just trying to get the bracket out here. Just be, very, just be very careful with it, or you can use a plastic pry tool. Okay, you can go ahead and disconnect the battery. Okay, so that is for the battery. And there are two flex cable, and that's for the screen. Okay, and finally, this is for the um, the speaker. So be very gentle, because right underneath this cable here. It has a double-sided tape, which is taped onto the flex cable. Make sure you want to get that separated. Okay, once you have that separated, and you can go ahead and remove this connector. All right, so as you can see, I removed this connector for the, for the top cable. One here for the for the cam um for the screen and a digitizer underneath here and this is for the battery right so once you have that removed you're halfway done okay i have the new screen here 
So what we want to do is we want to transfer this onto the new screen. Okay. There's a screw right here. So there's only three screws total. Okay, so pretty much you get to this point. Get a pry tool, you wanna go underneath. Be very careful. All right, so you have this removed. Okay, now the next step is to transfer to the screen. So this new screen, it did not come with a bracket here. So we need to transfer this bracket to, to the new screen as well. Some of the screen comes with it and some don't. So if you don't see it, that's okay. You can always transfer and reuse from the old one. It's just a plastic and they have like double-sided tape onto it. So just work your way around slowly and this should just come right off. Okay, just clean off the extra tape around the plastic. Okay, once you have that done, go ahead and put it back on to the new screen. You should have some tape still on the plastic, so you don't have to put a new one on it. All right, so the next step is to transfer this back on. It's very straightforward. You'll just sit right where the position is. Um, you don't really have to use much of your strength to push it in. You just go right back, right back on. All right, so I have that aligned. Again, there are three screws. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So the next step is to go ahead and install the flex cable back on. So begin with uh, the one on the front here, the top. They are just like Legos. So once you have that in place and you can just press it and you will it would just um, sit pro sit in tight properly. So it's pretty straightforward.
and then I'm going to try with this one. Try with this one. And then we're going to put the battery back on. All right, so we have one, two, three flex cable in place. Make sure you have the bracket back on. Okay. This is the long screw and it's Philip. Okay. So you want to go from the top, make sure you have the top part in place and then you want to work your way around it just, just press it okay you want to turn on the phone make sure it works okay so it's booting up and I put the two screws back on So everything looks good and that should be it. So if you have any question, just comment below and thanks for watching. Have a good day.